We have all of the excuses. We're all so busy. Oh, I don't have enough time. To say that you don't have time, but you have a Netflix subscription, then you watch it, that's bullshit. You're lying to yourself. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to quickly move the needle in your life in whatever it is that you're trying to work towards. We're gonna talk about clearing out all of the BS, all of the stuff that's holding you back, that doesn't make sense, and prioritizing your mission, prioritizing your purpose, prioritizing your passion, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make your success a little bit easier. And I'll say this before we dive in. We're all busy. I mean, if you're listening to me right now, have you ever used the phrase, I'm too busy? Oh, I'm so busy right now. Have you said that in the last week? You said in the last month? Oh, I'm just so busy. I've said it a bunch of times. And we all have things going on, you know? There's work, there's kids, there's bills, there's cleaning the house, there's doing chores, there's laundry, you've got to mow the lawn, you've got to do your clothes, you've got to iron, you got to put them back on the, put them away in the dresser, you've got to hang them up, you've got to, we have so many, as humans, we do so many things. We got to eat, we got to go to the bathroom, we got to drink water, we've got to put stuff inside the refrigerator, like we've got so many things, so many different actions that we do as humans. And with that, we all have so many excuses that we could give as to why we are so busy and we have too many things going on to create the life that we want to. We have all of the excuses, but you have to think about this. We do a lot of things, but the question is, do we do the right things? Do we do the things? Are we currently doing things in our life that are moving the needle towards the life that we want to create? Think about that for a second. Are you taking action? Or are you taking action towards the desired outcome that you want in your life? Are you doing the needle moving activities to change your life? Because if you're not, your life is going to be exactly the same 365 days from today as it is right now, unless you're doing needle moving activities. You could still keep doing the laundry and I'm not saying don't do the laundry and you can start keep doing all the things that you need to and get those things done, but it's not needle moving activities. There will always be things that you have to do. You have to sleep. You know, you have to brush your teeth. You have to do those things. You have to do them. But are you prioritizing the things that you need to get done over everything else? Now, let me give you an example of what I mean, because all of us are different and we all have different things that we need to do. And that's what we're going to dive into today is this conversation came up in a coaching group that I run. Um, I teach coaches how to grow coaching businesses. I teach literally coaches how to grow online coaching businesses. It's called Business Breakthrough. And somebody asked a question uh, a couple weeks ago, and we were talking about this, where she was saying, as I'm trying to build my business, I'm running out of time. Like I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to run, run out, I'm trying to build this, but I'm running out of time. And I had another friend that was saying, hey, I'm trying to lose weight. And I'm just trying to get in the shape that I want to, but I just don't have enough time once I get done with work. And I heard this a couple times and I was like, huh, this is an interesting thing that people say. I should probably talk about this. So I was in this conversation with my friend who's trying to lose weight and they were saying, I don't have time. I try to get as much, I try to work out as much as possible, but I just run out of time so many days. And I was like, that's interesting. And I said to, I said to her, I said, um, just, just kind of curious, um, you know, you have children, you know, there's seven and five. Um, how many days have you run out of time and, and not fed them? And she's like, what? And I was like, how many, how many times, you know, let's take your seven year old, for instance, over the course of the seven years that he's been alive. What is that? Uh, it's two, 20, 2300 days, something around there, 2200, 2300 days. How many days have you been so busy that you, you were like, ah, I, I ran out of time. I didn't, I didn't feed my son. She's like, um, none. I was like, really? <laughs> That's interesting. There's never one day where you're like, I'm too busy. I can't feed my son. And she's like, no, that'd be ridiculous. And I was like, oh, so what you're telling me is that feeding your son is a priority for you. She's like, absolutely. I said, you will only succeed at losing weight when you put losing weight and working out and eating healthy as a priority for you. I'm not saying that, that going to the gym is as important as feeding your son. But what I'm saying is in your brain, it needs to be as important. You would never go to sleep with your son not being fed. You should never go to sleep without the workout if that's what you said you were going to do. You don't run out of time. You just don't plan your time efficiently to make sure that the action is taken to create the body that you want, to create the life that you want, to create the business that you want. So the problem is, it's not that you don't have time for the action, it's that you're making up excuses as to why you're too busy to actually take that action. She was like, oh, that makes so much sense. 
working out hasn't been a priority for me. And I was like, I know. There are some people that working out is a priority and they do have two kids exactly like you do. What's the difference? Their mindset around the priorities. I'm not saying don't feed your kids. That's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't do the laundry. I'm not saying don't clean the house. I'm not saying don't run your business. I'm not saying any of those things. What I'm saying is, is that the most important actions, the needle moving actions in your life need to be as much of a priority as feeding your children. Feed your children, of course, but also get your ass to the gym. Feed your children, of course. If you don't have children, do you have a dog? Do you have a cat? Do you have a bird? Feed your animal or feed your child, whatever you might have, and go to the gym. Build your business and feed your child. Do all of those things. Don't go to bed until the action is done. Same way that you never go to bed and not feed your children is exactly the same way that you should never go to bed and not have that action done. And so I asked her that question, and the reason why it was, it's, a, it's super, super important to think this is because the reason why you need to have this reprioritization in your mind is because of the fact that if you don't, you're not going to do what needs to be done, but it needs to be that, that important for you. So we could all make to-do lists right now that could be 75 things long, but are those things gonna be all needle moving activities in your life? Absolutely not. So how can we look at the things that we know are needle moving and prioritize those over everything else? And it's very simple. You plan the life that you want, you figure out what actions need to be taken, and then you prioritize those actions over everything else. You don't go to bed until they're done. That's how committed you need to be to your goals. I do not go to bed until X is done. I don't go to bed until my workout is done. I don't go to bed until I make a hundred cold calls. I don't go to bed until I have, you know, eaten the food that I need to. I don't go to bed if if I, uh, I don't go to bed if I haven't told my spouse I love them. Whatever it is that you're trying to, I don't go to bed unless I've meditated for the day. Whatever it is that you're trying to create, you need to prioritize those goals and they need to be that important to you. And you don't go to bed until they're done. And it comes down to this simple phrase. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. How many people, we've seen movies on it, how many people have run out of money, they've been on the streets, they haven't had whatever it is that they need, but they've done what needs to be done in order to feed their children. Maybe they steal, maybe they borrow some stuff. Maybe they figure out a way to make money because they need to pay their kids. If it's, they need to pay their kids, they need to feed their kids. If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. You'll never run out of time to feed your children. It's a priority. It gets done no matter what. And that's the mindset that you have around it. As a parent, I'm going to feed them. I'm going to take care of them. What is supposed to be done will be done. That's what your life is built off of. Well, can it also be built off of that? Can, can the, the things that are most important that move the needle also be built the same way in your mind? And so I wanna ask you this question. Let's take the next three months of your life. Let's think about the most important activity over the next three months in your life. Do you prioritize it? Just ask yourself, and it's be honest. Do you prioritize it? Is it a priority for you? How many times have you tried that thing and given up? Let's say weight loss is a thing. How many times have you tried losing weight, but you've given up? How many times have you tried losing weight and you've given up? How many diets have you tried, but then you gave up? How many times have you said, today's, this is the year, this is my year to get in shape. My New Year's resolution is I'm going to lose weight. And then you've freaking given up on it. Think about that for a second. What do you do on a daily basis though? That's not a priority. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure out number one, what is your priority? Write that down with pen and paper. If you have your pen and paper, what is your priority over the next three months that is a needle moving activity? I don't need you to figure out a hundred different things. I just need you to figure out one for right now. What is that one thing that is a needle moving activity for you? Write it down with pen and paper. Now I want you to think about all of the things that you do on a daily basis that are not priorities for you. Think about it. Doing the laundry, you know, maybe it's uh, doing the dishes, watching TV, scrolling on Instagram. Think of every single action that you take that is not a priority for you. And then ask yourself a couple questions. Are there any of these things that could be outsourced? Like, is it possible that these things can be outsourced? Like for instance, I have a lawn. I don't mow my lawn. I did at one point mow my lawn, but I stopped. Why? Because it takes a couple hours, a couple times, it takes a couple hours over the course of a month. I could use those hours doing something to, that is the priority for me. Now, some of you are like, yeah, but I don't have the money to pay for someone to mow my lawn. Okay, well, is there anything else that could be outsourced? And if you were to outsource mowing your lawn and use those, let's call it four hours over the course of a month, could you make more than that four hour, that, more than the money that you pay the person to be able to actually 
pay them so that you can go and do the thing that is the priority for you. Is there stuff that could be outsourced? You know, if we're talking about cleaning the house, is it possible for you to have someone clean once a month that would at least help to have them come every couple weeks? Is there a way to outsource some of the things that are not a priority for you? That's what I want you to do. So you're gonna make a list of all of the things that you do on a daily basis and add to this list throughout the day as you do things. Oh, I do this, oh, I do this, oh, I do this, oh, I do this. That are all of the things that are not a priority and start to ask yourself, is it possible for me to outsource these? Is it possible that you can ask someone that you live with to help with these things? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's someone that you live with. Maybe you can assign one of your children to do the laundry for the month. Maybe you can assign one of your children to do the dishes for the month. Is it possible for you to assign somebody that you live with some of these tasks? What about work? Is it possible for you to assign somebody that you work with to do some of the tasks that you're doing that you don't need to do that are not a priority for you? I know people when they get promoted, some people will completely change the things they do. Some people will do, do the job that they don't need to be doing because they don't trust other people to do it. So if you're at work and you're doing things that are not a priority for you to move the needle, can you outsource that to someone else? Is there someone else that can help you? And then when you look at the list of things, what are those things that you actually need to stop doing? Right? So if you're like, oh, I don't have enough time, but then you're watching Netflix for an hour every single night, where did that freaking time come from? To say that you don't have time, but you have a Netflix subscription and you watch it, that's bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You can keep lying to yourself if you want, but the numbers don't lie. And if the, the success in your business or you're on the scale or whatever it is, they don't lie. And so could you prioritize your life differently and say, oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe over the next three months, I won't watch any Netflix. I'll prioritize this one thing and just go for this one thing. What would your life look like if you decided to switch some things around and actually start doing that? And then you start asking yourself, am I being busy or am I being productive? <clears throat> so this is important to think about. We're busy all day long. We all are because we're all doing something. Even if we're doing nothing, we're still doing something. If, even if we're just sitting around watching Netflix, we're still watching Netflix. Even if we're just sitting on the couch scrolling on Instagram, we're still on Instagram. We're still doing something even when we're doing nothing. Even if we're just staring at the ceiling and breathing, we're still just breathing. Right? We're doing something always. We're all so busy. But the question is, are you busy or are you productive? Have you ever had a day where you're just, you're like a chicken with your head cut off. You're doing things, you're doing things, you're doing things, you're doing things. And then you get home or you lay your head down and you're like, man, I was busy all day and I feel like I got nothing done. Have you ever had one of those days before where you're just so damn busy, but for some reason you feel like you got nothing done? Well, do you want to know why that is? Because you were busy you weren't productive. And so if you feel like you're busy all day and you're not moving the needle, it's because you're not working on the things that are gonna, that are priorities for you, should be priorities for you, that are gonna move the needle. And so simple tip, if you've been listening to me for long enough, that'll just help you conquer this real quickly. It's the simplest thing. I tell people all the time and when they actually start using it, they're like, this is so simple and it also helps so much. You make your to-do list every single morning. You go through and you look at it and you say, okay, what is number one, what is number two, and what is number three that are the number one, number two, number three most needle moving activities that I put down on this list? You circle them. Okay, that's number one. Okay, that's number two. Okay, that's number three. And then what you do is you take a three by five card. You write down number one, you write down number two, you write down number three, and you put it in your back pocket and you don't go to bed until all three of those things are done. That's it. It's that simple. And that is how you have a productive day is because when you feel like you're busy, but not productive, it's because you're not checking off the boxes of things that are important. You're just checking off your, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just checking off your to-do list. And that's not going to do anything for you. Just checking off to-do list. And I know so many people, because I say this all the time and people always laugh. So many people out there, you made your to-do list in the morning. You wrote it all down. You're like, cool. Oh my God, I got my, my, got my to-do list. I've got 32 things on my to-do list. And then you go and do something that's not on your to-do list and you come back to your to-do list and you write that thing down on your to-do list and then you cross it off so you get that feeling of, hey, I did it. That thing was probably not a priority for you. <clears throat> it's probably not the needle moving activity that you needed to take. So when you create your to-do list every single morning and then you figure out number one, number two, number three, and you put them on a three by five card, you say, I do not go to bed until this is done. I'm going to focus on these three things. And those are the three things that are going to move the business, the, my relationship, my family, my body, whatever it is you're trying to work towards. These are the three needle moving activities that I need to get done today. And you don't do anything until number one is done. Then you don't do anything until number two is done. And then you don't do anything until number three is done. And then my question to you is, do you take those things and you put them into your schedule? Do you stick to a schedule in the first place? Or you just kind of run around the chicken with, like a chicken with your head cut off? 
These are not like, hey, if I get time for it kind of things. Like I was telling you about my friend who's trying to lose weight. If I get time for it, I'll work out. If it's something that's a, I get, if I get time for it, it's not a priority for you and you don't really care. You don't think to yourself, you know, well, I will feed Jonathan if I get time to. No, it's like, it's going to be done. So your priorities should never be a, if I get time for it kind of thing. Your priorities are, I don't care what happens. I'm going to get it done today. And if you do that, those are the ways that you're going to move the needles the quickest in your life, in your business, in your body, in your relationships, in your finances, in your wealth. Everything is that you figure out what the most important things are and you crush them every single day, no matter what. And they are just as high as a priority for you as everything else is in your life. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Do you follow your dreams or do you watch Netflix? Do you work for the business that you want to create or do you scroll on Instagram?